Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. If you're new here, if you're not, again, welcome back. So today we are talking all about Han Skincare Cosmetics. So this is a brand that everything I believe is under $20. I've been using their products since the dawn of my channel. They didn't have that many when they first started out. I believe they only had the eyeshadows, the blush, a couple multi-use sticks and the bronzer, and now they've added a concealer, lip gloss, some more multi-use sticks, and a cream highlight. At the time I did my first video about them, I just used their shadows and their bronzer, and I think their blush, or something like that. Since then, I've just gotten more products because they're fairly affordable. Like I said, everything's under $20. And I know that you guys like to see these kind of videos. I've gotten a lot of emails or DMs and stuff of thinking that it is necessary to have content out there about clean beauty that is in the under $20 range. And I agree. I can't say that everything I ever use will always be super uber affordable. I do have the May Lindstrom mask. I do have some more expensive things, but I do think it's important for everyone to have more affordable options and have things out there that are good, clean, quality, and again, a little bit more affordable. So let's just roll into talking about everything. Basically everything on my face today is Han. Um, they don't have a brow product and they don't have a mascara. So I'll have the products I use linked down below if you're curious what I used. But yeah, let's just roll in. So the first product that I want to talk about is their concealer. And this is their only base product. So it comes in five different shades. I have shade Fair here. They launched with three shades. So that's why I didn't talk about this when it first came out. Just because they didn't have a Fair shade yet. So I believe that when they did a more expanded, it wasn't really an expansion, but they added two more shades. Um, they added fair and then a deeper shade, the deepest shade. So I'm wearing this today and this is all I'm wearing is my base. So I went in around my nose, under my eyes. I didn't even set this with the setting powder. Let me look in the mirror just up close. And yeah, it really sits very, very nicely on my skin. Again, I'm not wearing a base besides this. This is all I used. So I have really liked their concealer. I think the coverage is pretty good. It's pretty light in consistency, but in coverage, it's pretty, I'd say it's medium full. It's not as full as the Fit Glow Concealer, which I think is, I wouldn't say a dupe, but it's just an alternative if you're looking for something that does have a little bit more full coverage than this, I think the Fit Glow one does have a little bit more full coverage, but the price of this, it just can't be beat. $18, and again, I can wear it under my eyes and as a base, basically, and my skin looks really nice and flawless. So I don't put any fancy filters on my camera. I don't know how to, so this is just kind of what you see is what you get, and I'm really, really impressed with it. This is kind of a product I've changed my mind about, as I've learned how to contour. So I'm thinking about doing a video about how I contour because I contoured today and I feel like it looks really natural. Even in real life, if you'd come up to me, you wouldn't be like, you contoured. So this is the Han Malibu bronzer. I've had this in the past and I gave it to a friend, I believe. I think I did a swap or something because I didn't really know how to contour correctly. And now that I've learned how to contour for my face and with products that suit my skin type and my skin tone, I get it. So I did use a little bit on my forehead up here and then I used some here on my cheekbone line. I don't really know what you call that. You're, it's because it's not my jawline. And then I did use some on my jawline. And I really like the tone of it. It just looks really nice again with my skin tone. Nice quality, nice pigmentation, not muddy. And then this one is $16. And I think that they have two or three shades of this. So they have a little bit of choice for people who are deeper skin tone than me. I have liked that and I kind of, I don't regret buying it, but I purchased the 100% pure bronzer and it was $40. And I really like it, but this, I like this just as much as I like that one. So I only really need one bronzer kind of thing. That's just, and if I was going to pick one over the other, I'd pick this one because it's a little bit cheaper and the quality is pretty similar and consistent with that one. So the next product is their just powder blush. So I have Coral Candy. I'm not wearing this today, so I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. This actually isn't my favorite blush ever. It just isn't. I have ones that I, it doesn't really swatch very well. It sticks well to other, this swatched horribly, sorry about it. 
it actually is better than it's swatched. I didn't use this today on my cheeks because I used another Han product, but this just doesn't swatch very well. It's actually a lot better than it swatches, but it's just still not a favorite of mine. It's kind of best worst in between. It's just an in between product. It's nice, it's pigmented, but it's just not a favorite. I just have other blushes out there that I like more. Okay, and then I have been using their Ballerina Highlight. So when I got this, I swatched it on the back of my hand and their products I just feel like don't swatch amazingly because I used this on my face today. Let me rub it into the back of my hand. You can't even tell that there's anything really there. It just kind of looks a little bit more white. But I used this on my face today and you can see a nice highlight. I use this on my chin, I use this on my cheeks over here, and it looks really pretty. So that's just kind of an example of, I do do swatches, but it doesn't show the best payoff of the product. I feel like my face is the best canvas for that. And I do really like this product on the face. If I just saw it on the swatches, I think that wasn't for me, but on the face, it's really nice. And I just use my finger to apply it. And yeah, I'm just, I look really odd doing this, but I wanted to show you just the payoff and everything. So it's a product that I like. It's one I would recommend. It's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be because the pictures online kind of make it look like it's a little bit bigger and more flat, but this is how it's packaged. So it is just a little bit smaller than I think the pictures make it look. It's still quite a bit of product. It's 0.25 ounces. I've never used, I don't think, I, the only thing I ever use up makeup wise is mascara and that's because you have to get rid of them pretty frequently. So yeah. Um, and then I have their multi-use sticks. So these swatch, okay. So this one I'm wearing today on my cheeks. This is a newer shade for them. This is Rose Dust. I think it's really pretty. It's really nice and creamy. It doesn't have any sparkle in it. Uh, does it? Just making sure. Yeah, it's just a more of a satin finish. So again, I'm wearing this today on my cheeks. I think it looks really nice and natural with my skin tone. And then I also have Roseberry. So Roseberry is just more metallic-y. I have enjoyed these for my cheeks. I think they're a nice cheek product. I don't tend to use them on the lips that often. They just weren't one that I have, but you can if you would like to. It's just not one that I have. I just think it looks the best on my cheeks. It looks really nice. It's a natural looking flush. Okay guys, so I swatched all of the eyeshadows just so you could see and so we can talk about them. So the first shade I want to talk about is Cool Coconut and the payoff doesn't look very good on my arm because it's pretty close to my skin tone, but I use this today all over my lid. You can't really see it that well. It's just a nice base shade for me. It does have a slight metallic to it a slight metallic tint so it's not perfectly matte it just it's a little bit more metallic-y and I think it's pretty if you can see it at all again I use it all over my whole lid up to my brow bone and then this is a newer shade to them this is shade celebrate I have it right swatch right there it's a pretty light champagne color the payoff's pretty accurate from the swatch I'm wearing this today on the front half of my lid this is a nice shade and I like it for just daily looks it's easy to wear with almost any palette or any other eyeshadow or by itself and I do have shade sunset this is the first shade I think that I bought from them so it's a little bit more of an orange gold the payoff of this is pretty accurate as well um, I like this, but I feel like because it is a bit deeper, it does need to be worn with other eyeshadows. So I use this on the back half of my lid today. And then the last shade, this is one that I just don't use that often. I purchased it because I thought I might, and I, I keep it around because I have a relevant reason. This is their, what shade was this again? Mystery shade. So it's this dark brown matte. The payoff's really good. It's really creamy and blends out nicely. When I first purchased this shadow, I thought that I'd use it a ton. And I have used it here and there, especially with 12 pan palettes and bigger palettes that don't have a matte shade. I will use this in it. I just don't use it a ton by itself because it's so deep. So... Yeah, and lastly, I have the Han Skincare Cosmetics. This is their all natural lip gloss with antioxidants and vitamin. This is the pink lemonade shade. I'm wearing this today and you guys recommended this product to me. So I've been wearing it and using it for the past few days and I really have liked it. The pigmentation's really, really nice. It wears down pretty nice too. It wears down a lot differently than any lip gloss that I've tried. I feel like clean lip glosses are in a 
range of their own because they're all different and I feel like all of the clean lip glosses I've tried are a lot better than their conventional counterparts. This one wears down and it's a little bit waxy and the pigment's still there. So it's just a different wear down than any other lip gloss I've ever tried. So it's really interesting. And these are $15, so that's a really nice price. Again, it's just different. It's different how it does wear on the lips right now. It's really smooth and then in an hour or so, it'll be a lot more waxy and the pigment will still be there. So it's just, it's different. I wanted to tell you guys about it. I've kind of been excited to talk about it because I hadn't tried anything like that. Alrighty guys, so I want to know if you've tried anything from Han Skincare Cosmetics. I really have liked their products. They've been in a few subscription boxes and various things like that. So I feel like they're kind of getting out there more. They don't have such a wide range of products, but the ones that they do have, I've been impressed with them. There's been a couple things that just I didn't love, but everything else I really have enjoyed and liked and would recommend. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.